Посмотрим с ней. Окей. So let's continue. The laws of chemical combinations. We have the law of conservation of matter or mass. The law of definite constant proportion. Law of multiple proportion. Now the law of conservation of matter states that for a system undergoing a chemical change, the total mass of the substance involved as a reactance or product remains constant, right? So when you have something that going a chemical change, if their masses are 12 grams, 15 grams, after everything they still remain 12 grams, 15 grams, they don't change. Are you okay? That is a nice one. It's a law of conservation. We are conserving the mass. The mass doesn't change. So magnesium 12. Uh, so you are reacting sodium and chlorine. Sodium is 23. Atomic mass. Chlorine is 7.5. After that, you form sodium chloride. It's still the same, but it doesn't change. Or would the sodium change to get it correct? No. That is the concept. Law two. The law of definite constant proportion. It states that the proportion by mass of each element in a pure compound is always the same. No matter how the comp compound is prepared. The proportion by mass is always the same. No matter how it is prepared. It means if you want to prepare the sodium chloride or any other thing, whether you boil it, you heat it, whatever. The proportion by mass is constant the same, doesn't change. If you boil it, it doesn't change. If you fry it, it doesn't change. Right. Something of that sort. Law 3. The law of multiple proportion. It says that when two elements A and B combine to form more than one compound, the different masses of one element that combines with the fixed mass of the other are in a ratio of small whole numbers. What do we mean? You are trying to combine different masses of one element. You're trying to combine sodium chloride, right? That combines the fixed mass of the other. They say they do so in small whole numbers. It means the compounds of atoms are not in fractions. Are you okay? They are in whole numbers. That is why when we are doing the molecular formula, when we have 1.49, we have to run through by a constant to, to make them whole. They are not in fractions. Okay? Now, the concept of more ratio. Sometimes during a chemical reaction, they will ask you to calculate maybe the concentration of the acid. But when you check the question, you don't have any information about the acid. The only information you have about the acid is the tighter value or the average tighter or average volume of acid use. But you have a lot about the base. Meanwhile, we don't need the base. So what do you do? Since the base and the acid are in the equation, you can use more concepts and more ratio concepts to get them. In which way? You can try to find the number of moles of the base and compare more ratio from the equation. Then you can use that to generate that for the amount of acid. So that is what more ratio is about, right? A chemical equation shows the relative amount of substances taking part in the reaction. The relative amount of any two substances involved in the chemical reaction is known as what? The more ratio. So you have ACL. Now, sodium and rosite wants to produce what? Sodium chloride plus what? Water. Okay, so this is what you have. 2 each 1 or so. Right? So when you have this, you see, they ask you to find the concentration of this ACL. In fact, you have no information about ACL. All the information you have are about this, right? So this one, for this one, you have the volume. You have the concentration. It means the number of moles can come, right? Do you see that? When you get a number of moles, you zero point one. Right? You compare, you compare more ratio of this to this. So when you compare more ratio, more ratio, you compare from equation, it is one is to what one. But if we have two here, it will be what one is to two. So after this, we just be doing some calculations on this, right? And we apply the concept of more ratio, then you, you see it clearly, right? For now, that is it. The mole as a concept, and then the concept of mole ratio, right? Now let's see how you're going to apply mole ratio in doing this work. Now uh, in this work, the equation for the reaction has been given. Like in some of them, we have to write our own equation and balance them, right? So from here, remove the balance. Them. Now let's go. State the current laws of chemical combinations, right? Refer to notes. The reaction between hydrogen and hydrogen peroxide is given by this. It is balanced. 
how many moles of N2H4 hydrazine are required to react with 8 moles of peroxide? Then there's no water. That's peroxide. H2O2, right? Okay. So, let's see something here. So, let's see. They, they, they ask me about number of moles of this. Which can react with this? And I think I have the number of moles of this, right? Now, what do you do? You see, you have the number of moles of this. But we don't need this. We need this. This that we need, we don't even have any information about this. Now, since this and this are in a reaction, compare them from your equation and you can write them out. That's the concept of more ratio, right? Okay, so let's go. So, uh, hydrazine and what peroxide. Okay, so from equation. So, from the equation, number of moles, more ratio of this. So, from the equation here, The more ratio of this to this. Let's go. From the equation, try to check the more ratio. This is one. That's the comment number of moles is one. Now, this is two. You see, but, George, I have a voice, but I can hear George. So, I'm going to move on. So, let's go. So, compare the more ratio of this to this, right? Now, that there is one, and there is two, as you can see here, right? Okay. So, the number of moles of this peroxide I'll be giving here. So, if I don't know this, I call it x. This one is going on. And that is it. That's the concept of mole ratio. That's it, right? So, we have 2x equals what? 8. x equals what? 4 mole of what? Hydrazine. Needs to what? React. That's all. You see that? Now, let's go. More. How many moles of N2 we produce from 8 moles of this? You see, they, they are trying to compare N2 to what? This. So I'll compare their mole ratio. Mole ratio of this to what? The peroxide. It doesn't matter what goes up or what comes down. Now, in your comparison, this is what you do. You check from equation. This is 1 is to 1. Or, you see, that's the metric number of moles. 1 is to 1. Now, from information given, you have something about this, right? That's 8. So you see that x is what? 8 mole of what? This. Agreed? What is it? That is 2. Okay, okay, this is 2, right? So we have 2 x. So x is what? 4. Okay. So x is 4 mole of nitrogen gas. Now the next one, how many moles of water will be produced from 8 moles of peroxide? We are trying to compare water to what? Peroxide. Once again, mole ratio of water to that of what? Peroxide. Now from equation, my water is 4, my peroxide is what? 2. Now from information given, peroxide is 8. I don't know this. You see that? So I have... I can have 2x, 4, 8, 32, right? Okay. So x is what? 16 mole of what? Water. How about that? And the next one. How many grams of water we produce on 3 moles of that? Now the number of moles of this has been given. Now I want the grams of mole. Uh, how many grams of water to so produce on 3 moles of what? That. Okay. It's like I have my mole of water here right 16 right and okay let, let, let's keep that one uh, we have three moles of the high resin here so we are asking about water so i have to compare water and what high resin that's the best thing to do right and i know what it is now more ratio of what water with high resin why because i was told how many moles of water we produce from how many grams of water we produce from what that so from equation let's go Water and hydrazine as this, right? So the hydrazine was given as what? Well, right? This is x. So x is what? 12 mole of what? Water. Good. Now they are asking me to find what? Mass. Right? Number of moles is mass over what? Molar mass. Right? So mass is number of moles by what? Molar mass. And the number of moles is 12. Now, what is the molar mass of water? You have 2 by 1. That's what? 16. 
2 by 1 plus 16. So what we get here? 2 1 says what? Grams. That is a mass. 2 1 says grams. 2 1 6 grams. Okay. And the last one. What will be the volume of nitrogen gas produced at standard temperature pressure STP above? Now you see, I've been given my molar volume here. So my molar volume is here, right? There's a relationship between number of moles and what? Molar volume. So N is what? V over what? V M. Well, I'm looking for the volume. So this N by what? This. Now, what will be the volume of this produce? So what, what is the number of moles of nitrogen gas? That is four. You had it four, right? And that's the energy that's we have here, right? So you have V equals what? Four by what? The molar volume. What's the answer? Eight what? It's a bit here. Okay. So that's it. It's chemical equation for the reaction. Aluminium reacted with what? HCl to evolve hydrogen gas. Okay. I have this, so I can form aluminum chloride here. Do you believe? Then I produce hydrogen gas. This is hydrogen. But this is rather hydrogen what? Gas. They exist as what well, atomic. So how did I get this? You see, aluminum has a charge of plus three. This is chlorine. So that is it. Do you see what I just taught you? So it becomes something like this. So that's aluminum chloride I form, right? So when you react, you look at the possible combinations that you can form. Right? Always look at them, and it's really going to work. Or can you, or, or we can also use this method. Maybe aluminium. Yeah, you have something like this. Always cross multiply. You see what we call, right? You see, just this H cannot just be H. It's a gas. That is why I added to Okay? If you want to say that you have seen this H, so you want to maintain this H. No, that is not a gas. You don't worry, not a gas. Yes, it will affect the other each because of what you are writing, okay? So be very careful. Once you have this in here, so you will think it's just each. Now let's go. Now we have to balance. I'll use what we call the checkerboard method. Aluminium, hydrogen, chlorine. Aluminium, hydrogen, chlorine. Now when all the numbers are able to match, it is balanced. Let's go. Aluminium, there is one. H is 1, chlorine is 1. Agreed? Okay. Aluminium here is 1 on the right hand side. H is 2, chlorine is 3. Okay, there's a problem small, right? Okay. So this and this is okay. Okay, so I, I decided to put 2 here. So when I put 2 here, I'll take the 2. So take note, when you are doing this, it will be clean. We will clean them, okay? When you are not working. So these two have affected the chlorine, all. Okay. So that's still going to work, right? Okay, I can see three here. I see two here. Okay. But I can decide to put a number like three. Let's use three. So here is three. Here is also three. Let's just match it. So chlorine, chlorine is matching three, three, right? Ah, but this is three. This is two. This is two. Okay. Still going to cause a trouble, right? Okay, I'm trying to fix some three here. So now the hydrogen is six. Do you see that? Three, two, six. Are you okay? So it's like six. But here it's three. Okay. I decide to put six here. Now it's our first night chlorine. You believe that? Good. So you see, they'll be clean. So you can do them with pencils when you're okay, then you use pen, right? Okay. So when you're writing, you have to leave the space. Or things will appear here. Are you okay? Good. So that is six. Six, 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 match it. No, here is three, right? Okay, and I can try to put some two here. This is what's going on. Good. Now this and this will give me six. I think they are matching six, 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 right? Well, what's the numbers match? That's all. Now aluminium has become two. Do you believe that? Are you okay? It has now become two here. But this is one. Okay, I can decide to also put two here. And I'm three here, come two. Are all the numbers matching now? That is the checkerboard concept. That's all. It's balanced. If the numbers are not matching, it's not balanced. So it means you do cleaning, you do cleaning, you keep writing, right? 
So, make notes. It's balanced. Are you okay? It's a balancing okay now. So, before you start balancing, separate your reactor to the left, go to the right, right? And match them, the current situation. Two, six, six, whatever, right? Just match them currently, as you see. So, what do you see here? Now, two, two, six, 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 balanced. Now, once your equation is not balanced, you can't do this one. So, always take notes. Uh, and when you are balancing, you know you'll be clear and you'll be putting stuff here, right? So you have to create space here where you'll be putting your numbers. Are you okay? Good. Now let's go. If 2.2 grams of the mineral reactive SS is here, calculate the mass of hydrogen gas obtained. Now the mass of aluminium is what? It's 2.27 grams. Now I've been asked to calculate the mass of hydrogen gas obtained. Now I have the mass. Okay, you see. I want a mass of hydrogen. I don't know anything about hydrogen. Meanwhile, the aluminium is not so important to me. That is the information that I have. What will I do? They are, they are in a reaction. So let me go look for the number of moles of aluminium. Compare it to the hydrogen gas in terms of mole ratio in the equation. And I will get it out. Now, let's say the molar mass of aluminium is what? 27. Now, number of moles is mass over what? Molar mass. That is 2.27 over 27 grams. Of aluminium, right? Now, we are going to compare. Compare more ratio of aluminium to what? The hydrogen gas. Do you see that? So, let's go. It doesn't matter what stays up, right? From the equation, aluminium is what? 2. From the equation, hydrogen gas is what? Be very careful. I think that's the stratomatic number of moles is what? Right, that is what they use, right? Don't say six. Okay? We use the stratometry. Now, information given about aluminium is what? 0 0.08. We don't know this. You see the mole ratio concept? Good. So, cross multiply. You have two S is three by what? That's this. There is 0 0.126 mole of what? hydrogen was gas. But we are not looking for number of moles of hydrogen gas. We want the mass. Okay? So, how, how, how are we going to get the mass? We want the mass. So, let's go. Now, mass is number of moles by what? The molar mass. Now the number of moles is 1.26. The molar mass of this is what? 2 times 1. Do you agree? Because it's a gas. It's a gas atomic. Yes. Grams. Okay. The volume of hydrogen at STP. Volume is given by number of moles is volume over what? Molar volume. So volume is given by number of moles by what? Molar volume. Number of moles of the uh, hydrogen gas. 0 0.126 molar volume. Are you okay now? Good. So that is the end of the mole as a concept, right? At the end of the video, as usual, we have some questions there. Please take your time to, right? Get back to us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe too. That's all. The topic is history.